welcome back. So, Sammy, did you really want to replace us? Well, for a moment, there come I on. saved you a whole pork bun. <gasps> Thanks, guys. You know what? I, I do actually love you. Coming up later on, I catch up with the boys of Op Shop. But right now, Mike gets his bung eye checked at the optometrist. Technology. This little fella here has more than two million working parts in it, and the muscles that move the eye are the strongest in the body. So we've come to Auckland Uni Optometry to find out why it's important for you to take good care of your mata and what technology is involved. These are actually starting to hurt my eyes. Let's just take them <laughs> off now. Whew, that's so much better. New Zealand, meet Bav, who's a tutor here at Auckland Uni Optometry. What happens here at Auckland Uni Optometry? Uh, we are a teaching institution, so we teach the students um, how to do a comprehensive eye examination. You know, Bav, they say that eyes are the window to your soul. What sort of things can you tell about a person through their eyes? I would say that you can actually look at somebody's eyes and tell what they're feeling or thinking. But clinically, when we look at the eyes, we actually can tell somebody's general health from the eyes as well. What are some of the most common problems that like Pacific Islanders here in New Zealand would have with their eyes? Within the Maori and Pacific Islanders, especially young population, they suffer from a disease called keratoconus, which is a thinning of the front surface of the eye. The risk factors are if there's a strong family history of it, um, also if you're one of these patients that's got, that suffers with allergies, or if you're an eye rubber. So um, what? an eye rubber. So eye rubber. If, yeah, so if you're <laughs> extensively rubbing your eyes. So basically, you see this area here? This is known as the cornea, it's the clear window. Yep. And basically this area thins over time and it weakens. Uh, so it needs to be treated quite soon. If you leave it too long, you can actually go blind from the condition. Can you tell me a bit about the sort of equipment and technology you guys use here? We use anything from just basic tools to look at the back and the front of the eye to also like more... Um, advanced ones. Advanced, yeah. <laughs> a machinery that will look at even like optic nerve head details. So optic nerve head fibres, how thin or thick it is. Right. Yeah. Sweet. Well, I've never needed glasses in the past, but can you take me through and give me an eye test and tell me what you see? Yep. Sure. Now we're just going to check the front surface of your eyes using this machine here called a slit lamp. Slit lamp? Yeah. And Basically, what? it's made up of a microscope and light. All right, Bob, so what do you reckon? I don't think you need any glasses. You're safe to go home. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you very much it's all right. for looking into my eyes and for giving us an insight into why it's important to keep your matas healthy. If you guys are having trouble seeing us right now, check out this large website below if you can see it. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Music. It's not often you see a Samoan brother with snow boots or snowboard or even in the snow. But hey, who cares? Because I'm here at Snow Planet to catch up with one of New Zealand's most beloved bands, Off Shop. They're my boys. Haven't seen them in a while. Let's catch up. Everyone, my friends, Clint, Matt, Bobby, and Jason, otherwise known as Op Shop, here at Snow Planet. How's it going, guys? Good, oh, good, good. Yeah, good. Okay. Always good to catch up with you, boys. Haven't seen you for like three years. I mean, how, how special is this bond between you four, boys? You guys like brothers? Oh, oh. Super special. Don't touch me, you. Oh, I get it, right? See, talk about this before. I broke this that we now have separate hotel rooms. <laughs> Well, I mean, actually, yeah. on the last tour, we actually had separate hotel we rooms. It. We made it, man! <laughs> now, how long have you guys been together? Nine, Nine years, years ago, we started writing music for the first record, yep. 2001. But we really didn't sign on to a record deal until 2002, 2003. And that's when the, the first album came out, 2004, I think. You seem like the perfect Kiwi band. That's oh, true. that's just me. Am I just happy? Yeah. No, that's up? true. Yeah, we yeah, are yeah. the perfect Kiwi band. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The moment you step on stage and you start playing together, that's that's why we do it, really. Yeah. You know, and you never that's walk true. away from it. You know. So what's been your biggest achievement that sticks in your head? For me personally, it would be um, the Apra Silver Scroll. The recognition from other musicians, you know, that, that we, we did okay. I think the aim for us, or certainly for me lyrically, is every, every time we do a record or write a song, is to try and maintain a sense of relevancy as well. We have the thing we call the rocking chair test, so when we look back on our music, uh, you know, when we're sitting on our rocking chairs on our porches, you know, in years to come, then think, was that relevant for the times? To us, that's a job as artists, really. 
But you go, until the end of time, people will grab a copy. We're back at the starting gates again with a third record. And, and we've done it on our own terms. And we've, you know, we, we went into the uh, studio planning on really changing things up. And I think we really have. And the uh, reception that we're getting seems to reflect that. So we've actually got some quick fire questions from our Facebook audience, and they happen to be in your new album. Oh, funny that. All right, so quick fires. Op Shop or Save Mart? Ooh, Op Shop. Scribe or Savage? Scribe. Price through the floor. Hard, yeah. Yeah, Scribe. Yeah. Second Hand Planet or Until the End of Time? Until the End of Time. Until the End of Time. Now, Op Shop's music will be remembered as? Okay. Honest. Honest? Uh, relevant. Would you guys come back to the house and play for the other guys? Sure. Uh, yeah. Let's get him, let's get him! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kia ora, guys. I hope you loved our show today. A big Pacific shout out to all our friends who appeared on the show today. And if you ain't with us on Facebook, click on us right here. Just remember you can watch any of our past episodes online. Now, it's a privilege to have these guys here at our Fale. Give it up for Up Shop! Yeah. She's got an itch in the center of her palms. Every inch breathing down her neck. She doesn't buy into economic downturn. She said it's not her time to scare. She's eliminated out of body experience. She's in the paycheck to paycheck. Someone said the sky is falling through. Eyes roll in the back of her head. Local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.